The gym. It's a necessary place for myself to maintain a healthy physical body, a mental break from the world, and a place of peace. And you're wondering how I went from this stick insect into this saucy beast. I wasn't looking, okay? Stay tuned because by the end you'll discover what exercises, gym schedule, and supplements I take. All nicely packaged just for you. But full transparency before we head on, I'm no professional. Nor have I trained since last week, but that never happened. I just wanted to share my own experience with fitness to motivate the people who just want to start and just train because trust me, it's worth it. But let's get changed into gym clothing for now. That's better. Also, before I get into this, uh, the reason why I can't talk at the gym, I realized that uh, the gym has 24-7 copyrighted music, so that's great. So you're gonna have to deal with listening to my sexy voice instead, so hope you guys don't mind that. Alright, day one we're gonna start strong with the chest pump, so the bench press is our best friend. As always, do a warm up with our plates, just a bar to ease it in and destroy our muscles slowly. And we do that four sets of total of 10 reps. I try to focus on bending the bar and arching it back a bit. <laughs> Sorry, power from our legs that acts as springs to push the weights. Next is the incline bench press. So this one targets your upper chest to get that nice plump chest that everyone desires. Again, starting without plates and just the bar. Form is everything in the gym and it's so, so important. I do this exercise for four sets, 10 reps each. The final chest exercise is like hugging someone, so go hug your mom. Go, go, go right now. You want to pump that chest out as you go towards the middle and bring your arms closer together. And it's always good to hold once you bring your arms together. Again, my golden rule is just doing four sets, 10 reps each. Next, we want to hit them shoulders. Hit them. Hit them. Sorry, I got a bit too um, carried away there. Um, but we want to start with overhead shoulder press. You don't want to lift it aligned with your shoulders. You want to kind of slightly angle them forward to reduce the risk of injury. Just a slight angle is enough. I do four sets of 10 and this one kills, but it's so good. We're already looking like Geo, dude. Let's go. I also do a superset with this exercise, which means combining with another exercise without much rest in between. I do lat raises for this one, and this does not require heavy rate. Don't ego lift, trust me. Um, you don't ever want to ego lift anyway. Um, but I do only six kilograms. Call me a bitch. I don't care. But we're not done yet. You thought shoulders were over? No, we're gonna we're gonna do another superset, buddy. And we just do a frontal raise again. Same six kilograms, fifteen reps each, four sets. And I tie that in with some shrugs. Shrug like how you tell your teacher you don't know where your homework went. Don't even know what happened to it. Like you just, you're just shrugging. Just keep shrugging. Keep shrugging. I do 15 shrugs and four sets of that. But seriously, where, where did your homework go, mate? The last muscle group we're doing is triceps and do not lack on these boys. Yes, I am destroying my body for science. But I kind of like the pain. G gym pain, gym pain. But we're doing four sets of the tricep kickbacks, 10 reps each. And finally, we're doing the tricep pull down. Four sets and 10 reps each. And I like to hold it for each rep I do just to get that extra motion and make sure triceps pops like. Look at these whoppers. Just kidding. Alrighty, so day one of the gym is now complete. I'm gonna rest now because it's pretty dark. I had to film at night just so I don't record people just for privacy reasons. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Day two, we're hitting the back, bicep, and lats. We're starting off with the seated cable row, four sets of 10. I also try to hold it in again, once pulled towards my core to gain extra tension on my muscle. And when I repeat the motion, I slightly move in towards the row machine per rep. The next one is lat pull down. I don't really do anything too heavy for this one. I just kind of lift 34 and a half kilos, but get a good constant form because that's better than ego lifting, all right? Not gonna lie, I'm light as hell, so if I do it any higher, I think I'd start pulling myself out of my seat and go into creative mode in Minecraft, so... Yeah, nah, uh, I don't want that. This last one we're gonna do is a reverse cable fly. We do four sets of 10. This is like a reverse hug, essentially. So just, just do the opposite of what you did before, okay? Easy. And, uh... 
yeah, just keep reverse hugging your way. Next is a pull up, this one depends on your weight. The lighter the weight is set, the harder it is for you to pull yourself up. The higher the weight is set, the easier it is for yourself to pull. Also, yes, I know, I look like a Sims character doing a workout. Shut up. We're gonna focus on lats next and it's called one arm cable row. And we're gonna lunge down as if you're gonna marry someone, um, pulling the cable towards you. And yeah, I like to hold it again for nice engagement with my muscles. And I do four sets of 15 reps for that one. All right, next we are doing cable bicep curls. Yes, I changed my uniform. That's because my old foot is cracked. So I have to come and refilm. So you, you guys better be grateful. By the way, do I kind of look like Torji right now? Torji? Torji? Jesus Kaisen? Torji? Anyway. You can use dumbbells for this exercise and instead I just choose to use um, cables just because I broke my arm once and um, I can't move the way I used to and uh, using a cable gives me some leniency and uh, I can move it easier, so that's why I do it. We're just going to do four sets of 10 for these bad boys. Alright, so now we're going to change it. We're going to do hammer curls, but also on the cable because you know I love the tension. You just want to use the rope for this one. This one, this one here. Alright, let's get into it. Kind of have my thumbs pointing up like a thumbs up and just pulling it up. Keeping my hands separated. And make sure the, what do you call these things? Holes are that, that's at the bottom. And we're doing four sets of 10 reps each. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done with the workout now. I am heading off. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, it is the final day. Why did I do peace sign? It is my final day of working out this week, three times a week. Legs. Yes, I'm no bitch. Let's get into it. All right, starting this day, never forget to loosen up <laughs> and stretch some legs. Um, so dance around, whatever you want, whatever works for you. Look at me, like I'm just moving around. Oh my God, that abs. Anyway, we're gonna start with squats and this one's gonna hurt your thighs. And I do usually four sets of 10 doing 60 kilograms normally, but uh, your boy didn't go for a week straight. So that's why I had to uh, back it up a bit and uh, drop the weight. If you never saw that, I'll, we'll keep going. Next is leg press. Oh, you gotta love these ones. They feel so good. And I try to drop the weight as close as you can to you before you push it outwards. This just so it gets that tension again. Always something with me and tension, you know what I mean? What about the tension between me and you, huh? Huh? This one kills. We're gonna hit them calves. We're gonna do calf raises. And yo, calves is important. Don't forget about them. Don't neglect them, okay? And we're gonna do four sets of 15 for these babies. This one is my favorite leg exercise. It's called the leg extension. It's the most simplest, easiest thing you can do at the gym, honestly, for your legs, but it's so good. I always love holding it after each motion of a rep, and that way you just, it just, it just hurts in a good way. Like, oh, mm, pain. Finally, hamstring curls. Not my favorite, but oh my God, look at her butt, dad ass. Finally, you cannot forget resting. You must rest, okay? Just stretch. Especially after leg day, you have to stretch. Oh. Oh. Anyway, that's all the stretching done. Too easy. All right, we are finally done. Ah, the gym. Stairs are wild. Alrighty. Three days a week for the gym all done now. Time for Future Coda to talk about what supplements I take. See you there. All right, in terms of supplements, I only take two things. The first, my boy creatine. I love my creatine. So creatine, I use VPA, not sponsored by the way. It's been the most researched supplement for the health industry, so it's definitely viable. Generally, I just put one and a half scoops of this in. I'll just do it now. 
we mix. Alrighty, that was yum. Next thing, protein powder. We're gonna do that now with this cup. I use currently this brand here. It is the Eternal Mass from IWC, but my go-to is actually the whey protein powder. Whey protein so much better. I, I use Masashi's one. Masashi's vanilla flavor is good, but a lot of people just don't seem to like it. If you don't like the basic vanilla and chocolate flavors of protein powders, there is a website called Bulk Nutrients. They do it all online, I believe. There's heaps of flavors. I'll list them all down just right here. But yeah, they're really good. My friend has it and it has like whack ass flavors. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so well. I'm gonna use one whole scoop for this baby. All right, she's ready. Cheers. Now time for advice for someone who wants to just start gymming. So things you should know about the gym, no one looks at you and you just do your own thing. So don't worry about that. I realized that literally like a year ago because I only signed up to a gym properly last year. Um, but understand that gym is a safe place for anyone. It's a place for everyone to become a better version. So anyway, who cares if John has more muscles? You gotta care about your own progress. Don't compare your journey to anyone else's because not everyone can go consistently at the gym at the time. For example, I never was able to go to the gym straight away consistently. I would go three months in through like literally a year off. Just so many things happened to me and life happens and that's okay. Like you can't always lift plates and metal, you know? As much as we like to go caveman mode, you're on your own journey, so you're doing great, okay? Keep it up. Wherever you guys are in the progress of gym, if you watch this video, then you're already a step ahead. You're gonna start, I know it. But you have to make that action and take the first step. Sign up to the gym. Get a free three-day pass if there is. It's okay if you slipped off from the gym. All that matters is how are you gonna pick yourself back up from this point onwards. You can't change the fact that you slipped off. How can you change that starting from today? Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a different one, but uh, I'm gonna release a short film very soon. I just have a lot of plans going on, a lot of challenges while I am recording all this. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao,